Unfortunately, the ground gator clip on the charger broke off again. So we're gonna have to come up with a way to reinforce it extra strong this time to where it's not gonna break off. And I have an idea. Um, the reason it keeps breaking is because uh, this little shroud doesn't, I mean, it, to some degree, it keeps it from wiggling back and forth, but I mean, not a lot. So it's still wiggling back and forth and it can only handle so many times before it just breaks off. So we need a way to keep the wire from being able to, uh, you just gotta take some of the stress off of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is utilize this space up in here and stuff the wire back in like that. See, and now instead of the wire coming in to the solder point from this direction, I'm actually gonna go in from the opposite direction. And so now that the stress is not being applied to the solder point, it's just to this section of the wire, whereas the part that's soldered, where it most likely will break, is immobilized by the metal shroud. So I'm thinking that this has a lot better chance to survive. So I'm just gonna start the process of stripping the wire. It looks all right. Rather than wait for it to break off again before I do what I do to the black one, I'm just gonna do them both correct right now. now I prefer to keep one of the leads shorter so that when the wires are just hanging over the side of something, they can't touch each other. All right. I'm gonna clean them up on the wire wheel to get rid of the corrosion that's on there. So just taking my time getting it all heated up and at this point the remaining wire that's in there is almost ready to drop out. I think I can get it to just fall. There we go. Even though I got most of the wire off, I think I may just use the other, the top side because it's got the same uh, clips and I can crimp those on both. I, I probably can't get the wire. I can definitely get it into the big clips, but the little ones in the front, I may not be able to get those up. So I may just use the ones on top. I'm also going to put some shrink tube on it. That's what's going to uh, keep the wire. Here's this kind of an awkward wire cutters, but I'm okay with that. Um, put the little handle thing on and the shrink tube on before I get going with the clip soldering. Usually the way these work is the long crimp wings crimp onto the insulation and the short ones just have to go around the wire. In my case, I'm going to put them both around the wire because the heat shrink tube is going to act as the big set of crimps that holds, the, it's going to, this one's going to immobilize the wire. All right, and then the little ones. So now that I feel pretty confident about that crimp, I'm going to tuck it inside and then the shrink tube will keep it from moving forever. That should be it for the positive connection. The heat shrink also helps this this uh, red sleeve fit over a little tighter than it used to. So, not too bad. Put the second one back on. Onto the ground. Same thing for the negative lead.
just like the other one. I'm pretty sure I got my polarity correct, uh, but just to be sure, I'm going to clip on to my voltmeter and make sure. Right, back in service again. Okay, so everything's working again.